Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and today I have a package to open from Emma. So if you haven't seen my first video, I will link it on the screen or in the description below so you can go check that out. Um, I talk about um, what we were doing with this and that we were sending each other packages and you can see what I put in my package. So this video will be me opening the package, showing you what's inside, and then I will be creating a piece of art using what's in here. So I'm excited about that. So when you're done watching my video, I recommend you go over to her channel and check out her video and you can see her opening my package and creating a piece of art with what I had sent her. So I haven't opened the package yet, as you can see. So let's just get right to it. velvety pouch um, got this wrapped up this piece of Cadbury fruit and nut chocolate and this and a note okay it says dear Jessica thank you for your order you will find in this package a number of useful items and a few not so useful ones. Enjoy your mystery box. That's not actually in a box. Kind regards, mystery box provider. And here it is, the letter. So a little background is we wanted to send each other mystery boxes because we've been watching um, some YouTube videos where people order boxes and you don't know what's inside. Sometimes it's garbage, sometimes it's awesome, sometimes they're fake videos. Um, but I enjoyed watching them, so I thought we could do that with each other. So she made it seem like she was um, a mystery person, like I made an order off eBay or something. So that was really funny and cute of her. So I don't know what to start with. Maybe the chocolate. So I don't know if you can see that, but I don't think I have anything like this here in the US. I mean, we have Cadbury chocolate, but I don't think I've seen anything that says fruit or nut. So I wanna try that. Skinny item. like marker. That's really cute. Oh, that tape. <laughs> Maybe I should have got scissors. Okay. Oh! oh my. Okay. So this is a glue stick stuff. We got some 
gems in here. I don't. Okay, they're a little sticky. <laughs> a rubber glove? What? Ooh, cranberry pomegranate tea. She knows I like tea, so thank you, Emma. I'm, I want to try this out. Yum. And a candle. Sounds good. Doesn't have a flavor. And <laughs> it was Chris's wrapping paper and <laughs> that she turned inside out and drew on. That's a cute. Let's do this one. So very neatly wrapped, Emma. Oh my gosh, this is Chinese rice paper and that packaging is so pretty. Ooh, I have never used rice paper before. Ideal for use with ink, light watercolor, or dry media. There's 48 sheets, that's a lot. Oh, I, I'm, I'm really excited to use this. Have you, Emma, ever used this before? Because I'm really curious. Hmm. The black pouch. <gasps> she wrapped everything inside. <laughs> More presents! Yay! Okay, let's. Oh, I'm curious about this, so I'm just gonna start with this. Ooh, it's a. I was gonna say a lollipop or a sucker, as we call them. Cola flavored, so like flavored suckers, that's interesting. See it? It's kind of clear with a little bit of brown. watercolor art spectrum I don't think we have the brand art spectrum here and it's Naples yellow reddish I think this is like a, a skin tone color yeah hmm getting some ideas here of what I gotta create Let's do this one. Ooh! It's a Sharpie brush pen and it's hot pink. I love hot pink and it's a permanent marker. Ooh, look at that. I have not had any or bought any Sharpies with brush tips. I don't even think I know, knew that they made them. Ooh, this will be really pretty. Okay, a couple more things left. What do we got here? 
Pilot Erasable Pen. I do not own an erasable pen. Interesting. Ooh, premium artist brushes. Got some nice brushes in here. We got, it looks like two rounds and two flats, but one's an angle. You can never have too many brushes. The last item, right? Yes, okay. Silly scent washable markers. Interesting. I wonder what they smell like. So this is strawberry. Oh yeah, for sure, that is really strong. Watermelon, one of my favorites. <laughs> that smells so good, like I could eat that. Uh, can't really read it, but I'm gonna guess lemon. Ooh, cotton candy. Mmm. Got lime, fresh air. That's interesting. These are all like food flavors and then they got fresh air in here. It smells like a candle for sure. We got blueberry. Mm, I like blueberries. Ooh, caramel or caramel or however you say it. That one's not as strong. The root beer. Oh yeah, definitely root beer. And marshmallow, which is really interesting because marshmallows are white, but I don't know, <laughs> it's black. Maybe like a burnt marshmallow. <laughs> yeah, it smells like marshmallow. So yeah, it's really interesting because they're all like food, but then we got fresh air. All right, now I gotta think of what I'm gonna make with these items. Okay, so I was thinking I would draw some type of portrait since I have some skin tone. And then because I have rice paper, I thought it would be neat to do a redraw of my geisha drawing that I did back in Inktober. So I changed the style up a bit and I made it a little more realistic so I figured I would give that a go using these supplies as much as I can. To start with the rice paper, it was very thin. It was almost like tracing paper but the top had like a textury feel and on the bottom it was kind of plasticky. It's hard to explain but it was totally see-through so I thought great I can just kind of trace my sketch and but first I wanted to test out my supplies so I started to rip the paper out but it wasn't really coming out very easily and it was ripping and I was just like whatever it's gonna rip it's gonna rip so I just ripped out the portion as best I could and I need to test the supplies so the Sharpie brush marker definitely bled through and it spread on the paper but otherwise I love this marker and I've been practicing hand lettering so I can't wait to use this for other things and the next thing I tested was the erasable pen and I love this erasable pen it wrote so smoothly almost like a gel pen it just glided across the paper um, it didn't erase on the rice paper but I did test it on um, the back of my sketch and it did erase off of that um, just fine but I will definitely be using this a lot more probably in my bullet journal
Then I wanted to test some of the um, Crayola markers, the super tips, and they did not bleed through or bleed on the paper as much. So that was good. It did pick up some of the texture, which was kind of nice, and I could get some thin lines and some thicker ones if I needed. So then I figured I would test out the watercolor and use some of these new brushes. And these brushes are great. They hold a lot of water, more than I'm used to. So I know that the Crayola markers are washable, so I wanted to see how they reacted with the water. And they kind of bled a little bit, but I thought I could maybe use this to my advantage. Then I started to use the watercolor, and the paper just soaked up immediately. I tried to do it lighter, but I thought the packaging said for watercolor, so I was a little confused. And then it didn't even look like there was any color when I put my hand underneath. Okay, so I figured I would start with the pen and I would outline my drawing with that. Then I put a piece of paper towel underneath before I used the Sharpie because I knew for sure that would bleed through. And I wanted to give the peony a pop of color and then I wanted to color her um, robe or her outfit, whatever that would be that she's wearing to kind of match the flower. Then I decided to use the super tip and use some water to kind of blend out the marker a little bit so that way it could give a soft look of lipstick. And then I went in with the skin tone and it was quite difficult, honestly, using the watercolor on this paper. It did not hold well. It did not seem like it was meant for watercolor, but I went with it and I did the best I could putting some shadows in. And then I moved on to the hair with the black marker. I originally tried to do it with a little bit of water, as you can see where I blend it out, but I didn't like the way that it looked, so I figured I would just go for a more sketchy look with the just the dry marker straight on the paper. And then I realized that it had bled through several pages, so I put the paper towel underneath so hopefully nothing more would seep through. Then I just continued on filling in her hair, trying to get a little bit of a textured look and leaving some white areas for possible highlights. And at this point I thought it was looking okay. I left the face white to mimic the um, geisha makeup that they have. And then I did the eyes, and I don't know why I did the eyes with the black marker, but it made them very fuzzy and it just, I feel like, ruined the whole piece. And after that, I was just like, it's ruined. I mean, it was hard to use all these <laughs> supplies in the same picture. But I did the best I could, and then I popped in a jewel there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I will revisit this sketch with a proper watercolor painting. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of that rice paper, unless I just don't know how to use it properly. So maybe I'll look into that. So here's a little close up.
So that is it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you should head over to Emma's channel and check out her package and what she makes with her supplies. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to support my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!